seem to have spawned in the middle of a jungle biome. In case you're wondering, I, uh, I have, you know, people will notice I haven't really been uploading videos, and, uh, I haven't really been doing anything, really. I'd been playing, uh, well, pretty much one of the biggest things is I found out that Ion was going free to play, and I got a two-week reactivation, and I've been playing the crap out of that. And, uh, yeah. Plus, the, I was getting, I got a little bored with the old map. So, because I just feel, felt like I was doing things just kind of all wrong-like. So I wanted to start over. Now, I kind of wanted to do a jungle biome thing, but, uh, tell you what, jungle biomes are a pain to navigate. I'd rather be next to one than in one. I mean, it's nice that I'm near one. That's, that's good. I like that. Um, but I definitely don't want to live in it. But these things are kind of everywhere now. It's really, really hard to get out of a jungle biome. I see an apple. So I got a little bit of food. I'm gonna try and do better at maintaining this and just in general do a better job of uh, commentary and everything. Um, I want that apple. Why does it have to be so hard to get an apple? But, uh, I'll tell you what. I've said before in my previous Let's Play that I like redstone, but I never really did anything with it. Well, I'm going to do a whole lot more with it. In fact, this entire thing, it's not going to be, you know, not using any armor or any of that like I was doing before. It's going to be Minecraft. Plain and simple. And, uh, there will be a lot of mining and stuff done off camera. Um, I might try and edit out things if sections of video seem like they're taking too long. Like, if I'm going through a cave and I want to explore the whole cave, I can knock out all of the digging. Just edit it out real quick. So you don't have to see it. You know, just move on right after that and whatnot. And keep going through all that stuff. I have plenty of... I don't have plans for actual everything I want to do. But I'm going to work on thinking up stuff. I want one of these trees. Of course, I want a lot of things. I'd like to be able to properly stack those. Um, I want to get out of this jungle biome, but I definitely want some stone. I want a good supply of wood before I leave too. Um. I'm, I'm probably not going to be in this jungle biome for too long. Even if it's nighttime, I think my plan is to get what I want and get out. If that makes any sense. Um, not quite sure what kind of biome I'm going to live in. Maybe, maybe a nice desert biome. Those things are easy enough to flatten out, and I'd have a you know, continuous, never-ending supply of glass. Which, I want to do a lot of stuff with glass, too. Just, I, I want to do a lot of stuff with a lot of stuff. That's pretty much the short version. But, uh... Yep. What I am going to do is try and get everything I want in a hurry. So, I want to climb up one of these trees. The big, tall trees. And I want to get to the top, and I want to cut it down. And that'll give me wood for, well, ever and ever and ever. And this one looks like it is a perfect vine to get most of the way up. Hmm. Hmm. Full damage there. 
I have a feeling this right here is not going to work how I previously intended. Hmm. As much as I don't want to do this. so that way I can actually get in here and uh, tell you what, I'll be back after I got this tree chopped down um, just one second, let me get up in here and then I'll stop the footage and we're back and uh, I cut down enough tree to break a stone axe yeah that's apparently a different kind of wood so we'll just change that um, ooh, there's a nice mountain over there. I'm probably... I don't want to, like, necessarily live in the side of a mountain. I always end up living in the side of a mountain. Then again, it's a very convenient place to live. This, this looks like a swamp biome. And there's another jungle over there. Great. Surrounded by jungle. Some pumpkins, though. Pumpkins are always good. Coal. Must get the coal. Now there's a very good chance that with this series I'm not going to be using ladders. I'm going to be using vines. And in case anyone's wondering, it's because I think they look better. And yes, I'm I don't think I made a stone axe, or pickaxe. Yep, I didn't. But, oh well, it's getting a little bit dark, so I might have to actually take shelter in here. Or maybe we can just press forwards. I think I saw a nice flat plot of land over there that I kind of wanted to live in. Now, oddly enough, I want to live underground, but not in a mountain, if that makes any sense. I know it'll be a lot harder to, you know, deal with a house that's underground, but, uh... Underground houses are always fun, and I can always just build something up on top afterwards. So it gives me a quick shelter. And... It also has room for proper expansion later on, so... I think that's what we're gonna do. Just... Did I get all of it? right out here where I saw the flat land at. Flat-ish. Mm, yeah, and it's not ugly swamp grass either. Speaking of grass. Oh, come on, not a single seed? You know... I didn't make a sword. I could very well be doomed. I wonder if an axe will pick these up faster. Oh, nice. Jack o' lanterns are always good. There we go. It's not perfectly flat. Actually, this whole area right here is pretty nice. Boom. I see you, Mr. Creeper. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Should have seen that coming. I kind of walked into that one. Oh, I 
have no idea where I was. I don't have no idea, but... Birch tree? What is a birch tree doing in the middle of a jungle? Don't think we're in jungle anymore. Which means I went the wrong way. That's never a good sign. Never a good sign at all. This is what I'm talking about with uh, jungles being hard to navigate and work with. It's just ridiculous. Hmm. Hey, an egg. I'm actually getting a really bad glare on my monitor at the moment. And it's, uh, making it quite hard to see. Possibly the most dangerous way to go through a jungle ever. Oh, sapling. Okay, I think that area out there is where I want to be. So, we're gonna head that way, slowly but surely. Yeah, that definitely looks like where I was. There's an Enderman just chilling. Whee! I could have potentially taken fall damage there. That was actually not the uh, smartest idea for traveling I've ever had. But, uh... I don't know if this is quite where I was. I don't know if I see explosion holes in the ground. Actually, it doesn't appear to be. That's slightly upsetting. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Definitely not where I thought I was. And the fact that the jungle is so big is not helping. Damn you spiders and running faster than I do. Oh, well, granted I wasn't sprinting, but... Okay. Hopefully I'm at the right section of the land now. I see large flat area with... Okay, yeah, there's the mountain that I mined the coal in. And since it's the middle of the night, I shouldn't be stopping. Okay. It looks like the night's probably about two thirds the way over. I'm just gonna sprint over here, try and pick up my stuff. Oh. Oh, so many creepers. back up into the mountain where I was. I seem to have at least gotten the wood, and that was the important thing, because I spent a bunch of time getting that. Also seem to have gotten the apples. And I didn't make a sword, so I didn't lose one, because I didn't have one. Oh, skeleton! This is not how I wanted to spend the night, but I wasn't left with much of a choice. Hmm, I thought I had some sticks. Maybe I, oh no, I definitely used them, because I would have made more torches if I had torches. Well, you know, more sticks. Okay, 
Organize my inventory a bit here. Get some stone while I'm... Oh! Block that up with a pumpkin. This is why I made the effort to collect the apples. Oh, keep on clicking on my workbench. Yep, made the, uh, the effort to collect the apples. Because I knew I was going to end up with an issue where I'm getting very, very hungry. And in this case, I'm very, very hungry and I was low on health from being shot at. I do want to confront that skeleton and try and gain uh, bones. I see you out there. Drop bones. Ow. Seems he had a friend. All I got was one arrow. Where's his friend at? Oh, I bet I know what happened. I broke the block and the uh, the arrow probably dropped on me. I'd almost be willing to guarantee that's what happened. There goes that. Let's make a new pickaxe. I probably shouldn't be showing all of this because everybody's seen it before. Especially if you've seen season one just starting out, you know, making random stuff. Now, that one singular death I had, I'm going to try to make that the last. My goal this series is going to be not die. Granted, I've already failed that, but, uh, then again, I did kind of mention that I was going to be retarded and run around and look for the, uh, somewhere to go, because I'm going to be in the middle of the jungle. So, that death was my fault, and I'm also not counting it as a death for the season. Yep, you heard me, I'm not counting it. I hadn't even really had time to get established. But now I should have time to convert these. I don't really like the look of the uh, the jungle tree wood, so we're not going to make... We're, we're just going to convert it all to planks and use it that way. Look at all these poor holes in the ground. Oh. Hmm. I don't know whether I want to build a house or live in the ground. I've got enough wood that I can build a house. And making this land extremely flat should be pretty easy. Since it's pretty much flat to begin with. I actually need dirt if I want to make it more flat. So 
there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Torches. Going to need shovels. I know this is uh, slow and boring to watch, but I apologize for that. Could just cut it out, but it's raining in game. And I'll just get attacked. I guess it's technically not night, things can't technically spawn, but that doesn't make it any better. Nah. Maybe this won't too bad to clear. Actually, it probably will be pretty bad. But, uh, like I said, it's not going to be the smallest of places. And it's probably going to have multiple floors. Oh. Nice. Little cave system. And I already saw some coal. I'm not going to worry about that. making this uh, mob jump proof at the moment. Once I do that, I'll get the walls built, and then whenever I actually need more materials, I will go caving, basically. Now, I should be focusing on getting a bed as quick as possible, but uh, I'm not. Plain and simple, I'm not. Uh, I more or less want a house before I get a bed. Maybe I should go find some iron though, that sheep is just taunting me. There's quite a bit of coal down here. Oh, iron. One block of, oh, there we go. I was going to say one block of iron, are you kidding me? And uh, that's where we'll leave this cave for now. Mm, still got plenty of cobble, so... Oh, um, I'm sure somebody probably saw that. I apparently passed some iron on the way down. Fail. I'm gonna shear you, sheep. Just keep waiting. again. I'm sorry about that, but uh, a little distracted. Not distracted, more contemplating what I'm doing. Okay, the inside of the space here. Good to go. He cheers badly. experience you'll never forget. Dare you replenish your wool. Back to me. Ooh, squid. Okay, I missed some ink sacks over there. Saw it, so don't worry. Wow, look at all the flowers. Stupid sheep! You can't keep them out of wool anymore. This is 
ridiculous. I'm not really gonna ruin all of my poor grass, but uh, I can't keep them out of wool. Of course, if I really wanted them gone, all I'd have to do is just kill them. I don't want to kill them, because I'll use them later. Just look, I'll fix that uh, block there later. after I get it three high. Of course, I suppose I should probably light the inside of it up and make it bad, too. I'm sure I'll work more on the house while, uh, you know, off camera, because you don't need to, I'm sure you probably don't want to see everything, including all the building and breaking and this and that, and it's not going to have a roof for a while, and I am going to do need to do some mining and stuff too, so, I think before we do any actual mining, we'll go caving and then so that we have the area cleared out of caves. But in the meantime, I'm gonna make a bed. It appears to be nighttime finally. Actually, I really shouldn't have that there. It's gonna be a temporary location. Place well lit before I even try to sleep. There we go, and sleep. Okay, spawn is set, walls are three high. I will see you guys again in the next episode.